Oh, hello everyone, guess what? Evening Slate Spire Daily Run Edition. After messing with my sound settings post near stream and Blue Yeti shenanigans, listen, Blue Yeti, as I throw my phone over here, I love your product, but you're gonna make me work for it, aren't you? You're gonna make me work for the sound on the stream, compared to the videos, of course. Anyway, Daily Challenge is the Ironclad All Star. Start with two colors cards, and we're terminal. I hate that. And normal enemies drop relics instead of cards. That goal is at the top of the leaderboards here. Anyone I know on the top 20-ish or so? Yeah, I yeah, know these guys. That's the language I... Look ass! Alright. <laughs> ass aside, let's get in there. As I shift around. Get comfortable. Enjoy Slay the Spire daily. After a long, hard day of work. Was that two cards I'm excited about? Enlightenment and Dramatic Entrance. Yeah, I can be excited about that. If we're going for a score, you want to move quickly, but we also want to just play well, so. You'll see where that takes us. We're going to be losing max HP a lot, so we want to get Swole. What does that mean? We want to get Feed, if possible. There's two shops down the line over here. Um, double the chances of hitting a uh, feed early. Get two elites in the process as well as quite a few question marks. But actually, maybe we want to go here. Hit a one, two, three. Not just hard left. Hard left is what we're doing. So I hope everyone's uh, Monday went marginally better than mine. Mine wasn't bad. It was just really rough. Starting to learn up on a new desk and leaving my trainee in the footsteps to uh, learn how things work. Paper Frog? Oh my. That's right, we do want to fight elites to actually get cards. So, yeah. New trainee is uh, going to be learning up the ropes by himself here on out. I only hope the best for my boy. So he can become uh, big and strong. Big and strong. I'll take an in flame. Will I? Like, it's just a potion. Yeah, whatever. It's 36 volt. We won't go too hard on that though, because I do want to save money for something later. And inflame on a dramatic entrance, that sounds fantastic, baby. I actually sort of sealed the deal there. Good opener. Inflame with a dramatic entrance, not bad. Dreamcatcher is another means that we can use to get another card, but I would like to upgrade what we currently have, if possible. Pop you go, pop you go, off you pop. One of those mixes. And again, we're looking for feed, strawberries, pears, any delicious fruits out there in the world, much like in real life. Having a pineapples on this game is the first thing that comes to mind, but that's besides the point. I would like pineapple in this game, though. Alright, we're saying we stud, taking the left path, committed to it, that's what we're doing. We only need to play one block here, thanks to the uh, plated armor. We do want to kill you first before uh, we get vulnerable from this guy, so we'll pop that. That makes that seven. Uh, how about two sixes instead? Oh. So what's going on in the world of gaming right now is uh, I just continue to play Slay the Spire and nothing but Slay the Spire. I think Far Cry 3, 3, 5 came out. We've seen a bit of that prior to a release. Some of the, you know, high charisma that the villains tend to have is just overwhelmingly so. Ooh, that could be really good for later. Let's pop that up, actually. Try to get some higher two-cost cards in general now. All right, this guy, the Gremlin Knob. I have no shame in using a potion to just lay into this guy early on, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And with Ori Calcum, we get so much lock off the bat, I don't think there's a point in ever blocking. Maybe there is right here, and I absolutely will. Uh, no, there isn't. That was actually foolish, and you know it. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter, because he's dead now. Uh, don't do what I did. Bottle Tornado? Alright. Start off with that, I guess. A whirlwind? Yeah, that's AoE. Also, the only AoE you'll probably ever need. Like, if I draw it here, this is great. Didn't get it. So we'll, uh, Dramatic Entrance. It's 8 to everyone. Can I finish anyone off with 8? The answer is no, so I will block. I mean, I was going to block anyway. You get what I was thinking there. 
As long as you're not losing more than six, this is a fine net loss. Oh, absolutely. War paint is going to hit two defense. Shocker there. Juju bracelet will make these question marks a little better for us. Although a little worse because we won't get any more relics out of them. But, you know, pick your poison there. And this bash will wake him up, so let's go. Let's go hard on him. With 11. This guy will block himself out. We're actually going to play two blocks here. Yeah, absolutely two blocks here. Missing out on some vulnerability action there, but that is okay in my book. And once again, block, block. Let's uh, strike him. Playing it a little slow here, so this guy is going to get the suck off on us, but we are getting a few turns of good damage in ourselves. And if we're taking no damage, I think we'll be set overall. Whirlwind finishes you off. Good night. Art of War and... Huh. I think a Shockwave's pretty good. Get some skills in there. Shockwave is a nice debuffer. You Inflame. You Bash him. You Nate Strike him. You, you take two damage. That's right. I keep forgetting I have Ori Calco, and it's going to make this just way better. Um, finish him off. Frozen Egg. Power is going forward. Upgraded instantly. Tell you what we want. Powers. This power is okay, but it also slowly kills us. Oh, Waffle. Yeah, Waffle. I think that's pretty good. And I shrug it off. Some extra block action in there. And so these won't give us anything but uh, the good stuff. Give me max HP. We're gonna get enough relics. I'll take the max HP. We're terminal after all. And I will take another elite fight. Thank you very much. Strawberry? It's all coming up millhouse. So yeah, bash him. Dramatic entrance. This guy is pretty much dead. Yeah. Like, that's an easy turn. Walk for 11. He's gonna make us vulnerable, I think? Yeah, but... It doesn't really matter when you're doing this much damage. Am I right? Nine damage again? That's kinda weak, dude. I'm already vulnerable, why are you doubling up on that? Yeah, you should have done this a while ago. It's too late though. It did. Powers are upgraded. This is so silly of a, a card in like many respects, but I absolutely love it, so I'm going to take it. In part because I am a fool, but I also want to see how crazy it actually can get. And give me an additional strength off the bat if you don't mind. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop this. I'm gonna pop Inflame, and I'm just gonna go buck wild on the boy. Easy as pie. Oh, absolutely, Enlightenment here. Shockwave, Whirlwind. Alright, double strike. I will play Corruption. Block, block. That's fine. Because we'll only have attacks now, so blocking is for squares to begin with. So that is a good start. And we get we get 11 block for free as long as we don't lose any health, so this is fine in my book. Very good. This gives us a little more, actually, so... Didn't need to play it, but definitely thinning on our deck to a point of... I wouldn't say uh, being terminal. Play them both. Strike them down. Because this is fine, because we're about to win the fight here, and maybe I can actually exhaust out... No, I can't. Just finish them off. Prayer Wheel. Non-boss chest, all the contain cards. You know, on this mode, and on this daily, that's a welcome sight. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw one card. Huh. Start of each turn, gain two strength. Huh. Interesting synergies here. Let's take that. Maybe we can make some sort of giant exhaust synergy happen. I'm actually going to take Pandora's box. I am a madman. Oh, wait. I thought this was something else. No, that was absolutely the wrong decision. What are you thinking? 
I was thinking it was the uh, the transform one. Oh, hey, good news is some of our other cards got upgraded in the process there. Uh, bad news, we're kind of screwed. I think I'm kind of screwed. There's a good chance I'm, like, effed. Alright, and we're taking the right path purely for the question mark, so... In flame. Perfected Strike does, like, nothing. Oh, dear. <laughs> I am definitely in for it. I mean, we get 11 blocker free, so... If I just stick to them, I think I can just get get through. So what do you do? I think you... You bash, you strike. And you finish this guy very quickly. Carnage helps. Oh, Enlightenment helps a lot. Alright. We'll be good, but the deck is a mess. Uh, no, that's... That's HP we need. Also, just bloat up the deck with more stuff. Hey, give me a potion. Just one, because the other ones are okay. So, absolutely all corruption off the bat here. I did not play my power as a result of that genius play. Whoops. I disarm him. Shockwave him. Evolve. Shockwave again. Bash. Cool. Nine, not a problem. Drop kick. Carnage. Wild strike. Oh wait, I'm gonna draw so many cards because of that. Straight up just ethereal him. Or ethereal him. Kunai! Want some cheap attacking cards now. This is one. Bronze Scales is also pretty nice. More likely to find treasure in treasure rooms. Give me the Bronze Scales. We'll make Kunai pop off in other ways. These guys. There's a bit of fear in my heart here. So I will absolutely start off with this. Let's inflame to add up. And then a dramatic entrance with a potion boost on top of it. Decent start. They are going to hurt us, but in response we will finish them off fairly soon. Yeah, like dropkick or... Yeah, dropkick first. Because then you can... Enlightenment. And corruption makes everything else free. Let's disarm you. So now you're like weak. Like super weak boy. Uh, drop it back because that is free attack. Alright. Not bad. Finish him off. With a whirlwind even. Extra strength is good. Anger. In a deck like this actually hilariously enough will be pretty good. I actually want to upgrade it because of how good it is, so... Let's take, let's take the right path. Gain a curse, become... Regret. Be gain a regret can become... You know what I mean. I'm taking it because I can't get rid of it up ahead here. Upgrade anger. Oh, baby. Here comes the money. And anchor definitely helps out as well. In fact, an armament helps out as well. Transform a card? Yeah, what do I hate? Uh, I hate Regret, but I'm gonna get rid of it in a second. Iron Wave. Rampage. Infinitely better. And there's User Brace that just blocked us some uh, bad news there. Are we fighting Suck Guy? We're not, but... An Ancient Potion will do us some good. Alright, Sneko can ruin the day. He has the power to ruin the day. We will make him not ruin our day. And you know what? Get these out of here. That's free block. So this is fine. I mean, you could just do a bunch of damage right now, though. It's also fine. Upgrade Carnage. That's an insane amount of damage. 
52? Looks like it's an insane amount of damage. So is that. But I think we have the better of him here. So I'm actually going to play Corruption for free. Did I not play? Oh, I didn't play the other card. Ooh, you fool. Doesn't matter. Dugu Doll. Now I don't want to get rid of the curses, so... Guess I'll fight an elite. I will regret that, but we'll see. Oh, I want to play everything here. So you absolutely are going to Dark Embrace, Evolve, Inflame, Deep Breath. Got a Whirlwind back. Play Enlightenment. Drink an Energy Potion. There you go. Wham. And thank you, man. Uh, good, good time to draw regret. I'll have you know that was like you couldn't have asked for a better time to draw it there. Uh, corruption is good because then it allows us to play armaments. Upgrade shockwave. Shockwave this guy. Play anchor. Shockwave him again. Drop kick him. Disarm him. Play that. Play headbutt. Put Anger back on top. And watch this guy skewer himself. So you got Anger back. Two free Angers means free kills. The Regal Pillow is a nice get. And Battle Trance is also a very nice get. So we will take it. Alright. So just one plant guy to deal with. I can handle that. So you Inflame. You take a little damage here. Nah, take no damage here. Your dramatic entrance, swift strike, and then your whirlwind. Still get the strength up, and you'll take no damage in the process. Straight up. <laughs> Enlightenment. Corruption. So you disarm this guy. I did it in the absolute, like, wrongest of wrong orders. Oh, I could have actually prevented a little damage there. I'm still going to be fine, but just a horrendous order to begin with. See, anger. Headbutt. Fed. Hitting Carnage and Rampage is super swell. And what do you smith here? Eight and eight is nice. Minus three permanent strength early on is also nice. Very nice. Like, this is all sort of eh. How about some extra weakness and vulnerability? That seems like it would give us some, something to think about. And we're straight up. That's gonna happen. Inflame. Anger. Dramatic entrance switch right. It doesn't get exhausted, so play it out so you only lose 1 HP. And he's going to debuff us now, so we'll counteract that debuff. Corruption. Shockwave. Let's, uh... Whirlwind. Yeah. No need to play anything else right now. He has made us vulnerable, though. Dark Embrace. Okay, and then you Carnage, because you need to. We're going to lose a bit of the plane and armor here, but now we start laying into this guy with our chain of attacks. That reduces his strength. Rampage. Get the headbutt to put Rampage back on top. Do I have another shockwave in here? I do, but this will give us the card right here, right now. Is it upgraded? It is. So give me a now. Rampage. Good. Now he's going to purge. So we want to try and kill him here if we can. So this is a good start. Drop kick. Anger. Perfected strike or bash. Increase perfected strike for 22. No, play the power and then perfected strike. There you go. Regret still teaching us a lesson. Did not debuff. So again. Thirteen damage multiple times. I don't think so. Oh yeah. Play this. 
We'll go Carnage, Rampage. Do this to upgrade Wild Strike to 16. Wild Strike, Rampage, Swift Strike. Play that for the extra strike. All right, this guy's toast. He's purged his debuffs, but we have become so strong and he has become so weak that even this Execute were it to hit, we would not fear him. Goodbye. Getting low on HP though, so we want to replenish that. Doubling our strength would be nice, but the offering is too good to pass up. And this is a foolish man's gambit to take this many curses on with such a thin deck. So I'm going to do it. Some of those are awful. The pear is already making it worthwhile. Ginger is outstanding and Toxic Egg. Wish I would have gotten it after I had obtained the Dark Pact, but we're offering Dark Pact. What game am I thinking of? And we're fighting Time Lord, so things aren't all bad, son. Plus, we get to keep using our potions. And what could be better than that? Uh, this fight is going to cause us problems, though. I'm going to heal up. I'm going to play Corruption early. I'm going to Armaments, the Dramatic Entrance. So get that situated out. And I'm just going to Headbutt higher HP guy in the back, and EG here on damage. And I'm telling you right there, Thorns, or Bronze Gale, game winning pickup. Parasite, huh? Okay. So you shut out the Shockwave. Wild Strike this guy. Bash this guy. We'll take care of them on the next turn here. Good enough for me. Self-warming clay will help out for the reactive armor that we'll need. Duplicate a card in your deck. Yeah. If I can get another offering, that'd be pretty grand, actually. Yeah, give me another offering. And in the Winding Halls, give me uh, Madness. Or give me Curses for Strength. This becomes innate, an innate curse, that's a bad curse. Yeah, give me the madness, because they get upgraded. Hourglass does put them on a clock. Whenever card is exhausted, straight up these two. This is a skill that gets upgraded for free. This is another innate attack, so give me that. All right, we've spent all our money. There was another shop down the road, but we went ahead and did this now, because we are bold. And we believe in the power of this deck. So you inflame. Dramatic, dramatic. That, that, and that. And we still got the full block out. And here you hit shockwave. So you can uh, offering first. Hope this hits a okay. Feel the pain, so whenever card is exhausted. Gain the piece of block. Corruption and Dark Embrace work really well together. And we're taking no damage again. This guy takes six in return. Mercury's Hourglass, another probably underappreciated trinket in my eyes. Alright, upgrade dropkick. That's enough to kill you. That's not dropkick. That's dropkick. Pen nib will help, and the energy potion also will help. Let's just go for the uh, the W here at the end. Upgrade, offering, you madman. More cards, the better. Okay, Splody Boy goes first. You can play Corruption though. Okay, Enlightenment makes Carnage cheaper. Shrug it off, should have done that first. I didn't think. That's literally it. I just didn't think. Let's kill that guy. Oh, wait. Let's just kill everyone. Works for me. Marbles. Yes. That is the victories card. Victories card? Victory card. Another regret. That's playing with fire. If we lose this run, it will be because of the curses. 
Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain five block. Eh. I'd rather have a flex in all honesty. Okay. You inflame. You actually use a whirlwind. Hang on, you can actually anger. Strike, strike. Oh, there you go. Singing mole. That's more HP in the bag if we take on elite fights. Which we should absolutely try and do. Strength up. Jack of all trades. Gives us master of strategy, master of dreams. Gives us havoc. Which gave us a free energy, so we can actually armaments the bash to make the vulnerability last longer so we can anger and then innately strike us at the 30 with that card and then yeah that's a good start that's a good start and we can't be weakened anymore so take that offering madness hits shockwave you battle trance you enlighten good flex can you just kill him outright with this? Or oh, Ambage is free, so play that first, and then kill him outright with this. Cool, Bottle Lightning. Yes, give me Offering Plus, please. Give me a shop, two shops here. Mango, yes. 100 years over, yes. And yeah, we'll fight it. I ain't afraid. So that's a good opener. So is Corruption, actually. Play Corruption. Play Inflame. Offering gets you some more energy. That's a dropkick for free. That Madness can hit anything, it'll be okay. Hit Carnage, which is really okay. We can get dropkick back, but we can't draw it. So you play Anger on the big guy. I mean, disarm him because you can. Armaments the dramatic entrance. Carnage him. Dramatic. Dramatic. And then you get Ice Cream as a reward. More HP. More HP here as well. You won't get debuffed, huh? Yeah, you jerk. Uh, no madness can hit either of these and I'll be happy. That's alright. So I'll shrug it off first. Play Offering next. Get that extra string. Corruption, so we can upgrade a Dramatic Entrance to be better. We get Battle Trance to give us more cards whenever we exhaust a card. Let's exhaust back cards we can't play, such as Bash and Perfected Strike, and Carnage. Oh wait, we don't get anything for that. That was foolish. That was mighty foolish. Alright. Kill everything first, and then anger this guy to death. Was I overdoing the math there? Yeah, because, you know, they just sort of fell over and died. What's going to give me more bang for my buck on this fight? Probably longer weaknesses. It's Time Lord after all, so we have a, a rotation we want to meet. That is either all of our cards or most of our cards. So, Madness hits Strength, that's good. Offering, good. Dark Embrace is another step in that prime. Havoc lets us draw another card. Gave us extra energy, that gives us block for playing exhaust cards. So it decreases the value of these cards, and we can play all of our good attacks. I'm playing these for the... Purely for the up block. Ooh, and he got through some of the armor. Okay. So you shrug it off. Evolve, bash, disarm... Rampage and Anger. Pendant is ready. Still getting through to us. That hurts. A no attack turn. This is where you 
play Whirlwind, I think. Yeah, just play Whirlwind. Pendim's ready. Yeah, just play Whirlwind. Oh, just win. Am I a moron? I think I'm a moron when it comes to this game. Alright, 922. No one's gonna be writing poems about us in 10 years about this score, but hey, that's another victory. My score is being largely inflated from the dailies and not actual play, but approaching 4 million now. That's a victory. That's a victory on the uh, daily for the... what is it? 26th? 27th? I already forgot. Money. How do we do? Well, it's actually not that bad. It's only like 200 or so off from the top score, which means, you know, you're down in the pits of uh, upper 1,000 echelon. But hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. And again, new sound quality. Am I a fool? I'm looking at my screen. Please tell me. Okay, good. <laughs> I had this issue on stream where I didn't resize the game properly, but looks like it was sized up here well enough. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you next time.